was wanting to film today, but I've, I reckon that's going to get a bit irritating. Luckily, I um, I filmed some stuff earlier in the week, so um, here's a look at the Amazon Echo Dot. <laughs> Hello and in this video we're going to look at the Amazon Echo Dot. It's the Amazon Echo's baby brother basically. Um, it looks very similar apart from it's lacking the gigantic speaker underneath it. Um, but don't be fooled by the size. The audio and the volume you get out of this version is really good for the size of it and for the price. Um, it's just as good a build and on the top you can see you've got volume up and down, you've got mute button, you've got the usual and nice Amazon logo there. And on the back you've got um, USB, um, which is how you power the device, it is just literally to power it. And also a line out, so that's so you can plug this into um, an external speaker so you can get louder audio from it. As I mentioned, it's powered just off the USB at the back. You get a power adapter and a decent length USB cable with it. Um, all we do then is, and after a couple of seconds, it'll boot up. There we go. And once it's got a Wi Fi connection, there we go. It's muted at the moment just so it doesn't like hear me talking. Hello. There we go. And it's only showing red at the moment, literally because I've got it muted. I've been using it now for a couple of weeks and it is genuinely quite a useful device. You can do basic stuff like, Alexa, what's the weather like? In Darlington, it's six degrees with clear skies. Tonight, you can expect clouds and showers with a low of five degrees. You can also ask her things like, um, what's the latest news? And within the app, you can set where the news feed comes from. So I've got it set for BBC. So if I go, Alexa, what's the latest news? Here's Jonathan's flash briefing. In BBC Minute from TuneIn. And that'll pull BBC through. There you go. You can also um, listen to music through this. At the moment, I've got mine linked up to my Amazon music unlimited subscription service um the unlimited subscription service allows you to do really good things like um track this out alexa play me dance music from the 90s here's a station for dance 90s music 90s dance there we go and it'll start playing it alexa stop and you can obviously control the commands with the music, so you can you can say skip, um, pause, play, um, you can do all that kind of stuff with it to fully control your music. You don't need to use your, your app or you, to control it, you can do it all through this. One of the really nice things about it is, I bought this, um, it's a TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug, and the TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug um, will work with the Amazon Echo so then you can start saying Alexa turn off the living room lamp and that will control this smart Wi-Fi plug and turn it off and then you can do the same to turn it back on um, it's really really good I'll put a link in the description to these below an absolutely fantastic device I can't compare it with anything because I haven't tried anything else I haven't tried Google's home assistant yet or anything like that um, but from what I've used of this I really like this and I really think it's worth $49.99. That's my quick little review of the Amazon Echo Dot. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you like it. And also, why not click subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Have a fantastic day. And, well, Alexa, say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>